People tend to think of economics as stuff having to do with money. But as any good Austrian economist knows, government-issued fiat currency like the US dollar isn't real money. It's just a way for central banks to suck value from the people. We also know that gold and silver are much more real money than any fiat currency, and our definition of the economy must include barter and exchanges that don't require pieces of paper. While we know that the foundation of capitalism is the free exchange between individuals for mutual benefit, most economists draw an arbitrary line between what is and what isn't economics. A better understanding of economics comes from including all voluntary human interactions. Is a marriage not a voluntary exchange? You might think of this as cheapening personal relationships, but quite the opposite. The current system of measuring value that excludes relationships diminishes them, and the part of the economy prone to government manipulation is elevated. By expanding our concept of the economy, we can see the greater value in human life that government can't touch, and just how insignificant the government really is when it comes to the true sum of the human experience.